welcome back my friends so today is sunday and it's currently 9 39 in the morning and i just finished getting ready i am drinking my coffee look how cute this mug is i got it from target hi baby i got it from target or marshall's i don't know but coffee in one hand cough and confidence in the other because why not we have a ton of stuff to do today so i'm actually going to be waking up my husband in a few minutes that is why i am whispering right now because he's still asleep but we have stuff to do today so no sleeping in and i really don't want to go to the grocery store right now or today but i have to and the reason i don't want to go is because i know it's going to be super freaking packed and everyone's doing their last minute shopping like me but we do need groceries and i need to buy stuff for like our christmas dinner and i just don't want to deal with people's attitudes and the crowds it typically gets me in a really bad mood but we're not going to let that happen today positive vibes only and then after that we have to go to newberry street to exchange a purchase i made well should i tell you guys what i bought yeah let me tell you because you'll know from the title of this vlog so i purchased my very first cartier ring and i'm so excited and super proud of myself and the size i got fits well but not perfect so i kind of just want to see what the slightly larger size um how it fits on me and if it feels a little bit better and if it does then i'll exchange i'll exchange the ring that i got online for that size in the store and yeah so we'll get into the story of like why i purchased the specific ring i did the story behind it and i'm super excited because i've been wanting this specific ring for a very long time ever since i was in college and then i promised myself that i was gonna buy this ring and i just didn't because right after graduation we just had like a ton of expenses like we moved into our first apartment we had to buy everything from scratch just the two of us with no one's help um and then it was expense after expense after that and i'll get more into that later on in this vlog but right now we have to go wake up my husband and get this day started because ah, there's so much i want to do like i want to edit other videos i also have to film a video um and it's sunday i normally have a video like planned and ready to go and i just have to publish it but today is 9 42 and i have no video You're such a baby. <laughs> Look what I'm wearing. A hot mess. Nothing. A hot mess. Look at all that ice. Okay. Uh -huh. That's badass. Don't like it. Off to Shaw's. So we just got back from a grocery shopping. Who was right? Look at my mouth. <laughs> We were talking about who was going to be right if Shaw's was packed or not, or if it was crowded, and apparently he was right. Always right. No, you're not always right. Anyway, mm -hmm. so I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that we got. Obviously, we bought some of the normal stuff like the veggies and the rice and whatnot, but Shaw's finally had some vegan options that were really good, and I'm excited to uh, show you guys. Let me switch this over. Okay. So, these yogurts I always buy. They're so delicious. Focus. They're the So Delicious Dairy Free Coconut Milk Yogurt Alternative. And these are so good. I got one in vanilla. And then I got four other ones in the pineapple brulee flavor. Because these are so good. If you haven't tried them, go and try them. Because they're so good. And then Shaw's finally restocked their Morning Star. Um, selection and these veggie chorizo crumbles are vegan they're not the healthiest so I don't suggest that you eat them every single day but they're really good to make tacos and like put them in maybe like a stir fry or stuffing for Christmas coming up so love these I bought two of them and then these morning star farms original chick patties they're vegan as well. They're basically just vegan chicken patties. I love their buffalo version, but they didn't have them 
today so i'm just going to add buffalo sauce to them and they're so bomb probably gonna have this for lunch and then this is the vegan butter that i use i freaking love this what are you doing I, what are you doing <laughs> i love this vegan butter and then this is apple cider for my husband i don't like apple cider and then this thing is the most exciting thing ever because it's freaking vegan eggnog i'm so excited to try it i might actually try it on camera i don't like eggnog but i feel like since this is not real eggnog maybe i'll like it my husband loves eggnog so it'll be fun to try and then i wanted to show you guys this i didn't buy this at shaw's i found this at whole foods and this tastes just like the real corn dog like literally it tastes so damn good with some ketchup and mustard so highly recommend for you guys to check out this um these corn dogs i also got these breakfast sausages from field rose this was in shaw's um and it's apple <laughs> apple and it's apple maple sausages i used to love breakfast sausages so i was excited to see these and i'm going to try it out maybe like christmas morning when i'm off from work and let you guys know how it tastes so let's try the eggnog babe you want to try the eggnog with me Absolutely. come on you know you do give me a glass oh mm. please oh. are you supposed to shake this It smells like candy. It smells like gum. Tastes awful. No, it just tastes like it reminds me of a candy, like bubble gum. Awful, Look, taste it. Is this what eggnog tastes like? Yes. Tastes like eggnog. Oh. Well, if you're vegan and you want eggnog, apparently it tastes exactly like eggnog, right? Yes. Clearly, I don't like eggnog. But this is, this is alright. It tastes like eggnog. In Puerto Rico, we drink coquito for the holidays, which I will be making a vegan coquito. Indeed. Look who's doing dishes. Give me a kiss. No. Thanks for doing dishes. <laughs> you should, you should have that. It's like the most. I also wanted to show you guys this blanket that I bought at Marshalls. It's Kate Spade, and it's like a cute little like. <laughs> Are you okay? My cat just fell. It's a Kate Spade blanket. It's like a mauve pink, and it's just so freaking soft. I'm obsessed with it. It's so soft, and I just love the color. So I'm excited. It was only. 17 bucks with tax well actually like 18 something with tax but i found it at marshall's and i was in need of a blanket because my husband ruined my last blanket by putting it in, it in the dryer hi amelia so hopefully he doesn't ruin this one and it's so soft i can't wait to cut up on the couch with this tonight do you like the blanket mama you like the blanket <laughs> what are you doing Oh, bless you so I actually just finished filming a little what's in my bag and that video will actually be up before this vlog hopefully it will be up before this vlog I don't know whichever it's easier to edit to be honest and now we're gonna head over to Newberry Street and exchange my ring and then when we come back I'll kind of explain the reason why I chose this specific Cartier ring and uh, my thought process behind buying it i guess when we come back so stay tuned hey 
Hey guys, so we are back home right now. We actually have been back home for a while now, a few hours now. If you hear like noise in the background, that's literally my cat just running around. But we got back from Bear Street a few hours ago and I just wanted to chill. I didn't really want to vlog that much. I had nothing to vlog at home. I literally just edited the video I filmed before leaving to Newberry Street. And that's actually finished. I'm waiting for it to upload so that I can make it public on YouTube. That always takes forever. I'm actually not sure if I'll upload it tonight. I'll probably upload it early tomorrow, which is Monday morning. Either way, you guys will see that video before you see this. So I just wanted to chat with you guys. I went to the Cartier store. I'm sorry, my cat is is distracting me hardcore right now. And I don't know why I keep looking at the viewfinder. <sighs> One sec. So as I hinted earlier, I bought my very first Cartier ring. I'm actually super excited. I'm wearing it right now. Um, I have been wanting this ring for the longest time you guys ever since I was in college and I don't want this to come off as a braggy I'm not trying to brag that I ooh I got a Cartier ring right I got it like that no, no no this video is not about that I actually just wanted to just sit down with you guys and say if there's something that you want just go for it like if there's for example you want a Cartier ring save as much as possible it doesn't matter how long it takes you to get there as long as you are working towards your goal you can accomplish it that I just don't want it to come off as braggy or showing off and I don't want you guys to think that I like come for money because <laughs> that is not the case so now that that disclaimer is over with let's talk about the actual ring i'll insert clips probably right here of myself like opening it and the whole like experience by ordering it online i actually ordered it online last wednesday and then it came on friday it was supposed to come overnight and it was supposed to arrive on Thursday however it didn't there was like a delay in the shipment I don't know why it came from Texas so I got it Friday around 4 o'clock in the afternoon Is my cat coming out she's the one that's making all this noise right now she's so hyper anyways so I got it around 4 o'clock in the afternoon and I opened it like right away and I filmed myself over there because I was so excited and it's so pretty. I got the wedding band love ring in rose gold or in pink gold as they call it. The reason I got the wedding band instead of the thicker one is because I have really skinny long fingers and I don't really like thick rings. Like my wedding set is very thin. That is the vibe and the style that I go for. So I knew right away that I only wanted the thinner version I'm actually going to be stacking them um, which is another reason why I wanted the thinner version because I don't really like how the thicker love rings look stacked and I know that I want to stack it on this finger right here so that's one of the reasons hi what are you doing okay so I originally got it in a size 55 and then I went back today to the Cartier store to get a size 56 so the 56 is a US seven and a half and this size the size 56 fits so much better on me disregard my nails I need to get them done but I just love it so freaking much it's so pretty it's so classy like you honestly can't go wrong with the love band I am obsessed I keep like looking at it in awe and I was happy because when I went into the store the lady actually gave me a complimentary cleaning kit and you don't get that when you order online so I thought that was pretty sweet and it's wrapped I haven't opened it yet it's just it's so pretty I don't want to ruin it obviously you get your certification <laughs> just showing that the ring that you bought has been verified I won't show you because my serial number is on this thing but it basically just gives you like the story of the love ring itself and it's just so pretty like 
I honestly couldn't be happier with my purchase and I just love it so much. It's so pretty. I am so proud of myself. Again, work for what you want, work towards your goals and you will accomplish them. Doesn't matter how long it takes you, just work towards them and you will you will accomplish them. That's literally the only reason I wanted to upload and show you guys the fact that I bought a Cartier ring just to maybe inspire at least one person and say, hey, if she could do it, like, I can do it. Anyone can do it. But other than that, I think I'm going to end the vlog right here because I do want to get ready for work tomorrow and, like, pick out my outfit, get my lunch ready and stuff like that and then just chill out for the rest of the night so I don't want to vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye!